can honestly say after um, being here about two years ago in Midlands and having quite a having the sort of having a lacklustre response to a film that um, to come back with what would seemingly be and that came from under the radar really and to come with a film with the lowest budget and um, I suppose the smallest cast in a lot of ways by you know obviously Bob Paddy the most unknown cast that I've ever used um, that you know it's one thing coming in we've had an incredible response basically we've arrived here and um, I, I really came thinking because of the nature of the material of the film that I might be coming with a shield and having to sort of have sword fight everybody in the interviews to get you know to sort of thinking that people might be maybe even offended by some of the things that are in the film but the fact that um, it seems to have gone you know obviously we arrived on Thursday the press screening seemed to go very well and then at the, the world premiere we go in and have a screening and I sat I always sit in and watch them and as a director you can sense so much from a screening and then it's probably the first time you actually see the film for what it is yourself because you're living it with people who are seeing it for the first time and um, and the, you know to be honest the, the response from myself my point of view as a director couldn't be better but I think the brilliant thing is is that a lot of the actors have been noticed as giving great performances and especially this newcomer Toby Kebble uh, who um, I don't, you know, I don't have, you know the backstory to what happened with Toby, but we had this situation where there was an actor playing the part that he ends up playing in the film, and uh, he, he basically pulled off the set three days before we started shooting, and it was the most challenging in terms of having to give a believable performance. It was one of the most difficult things to pull off, and Toby came in with three days, and he has to play a, a, a sort of a lad who's almost a, a sort of simple, slightly mentally retarded, and uh, had three days to put that character together, and uh, I think the fact that people are, are not only trying to interview me, but they're also feeling like they've discovered Toby as well. That's one of the most rewarding experiences I think as a director you can have. It happened with Paddy Considine in 1998 with Romeo Brass, and I feel like it's happening again with Toby, and for me that's one of the most rewarding things because I do love to keep finding new talent. It's ten years, like literally to the month, since I made my very first short film, and I've made about 70 over the course of ten years, and um, you know that they've served different purposes in different parts of my life. And in the beginning, it was almost like a film course. It was like Shane teaches himself how to make films by making mistakes. You know, I, I'd, I'd made my first film by myself in a little room with no one watching. You know, and uh, I made loads of mistakes. It was really crap, and I edited it together, but I didn't have to show it to anyone because I'd made it on a camcorder, and it was me. And, uh, and there was no pressure. I think you go out and apply for a fund for your first film, think I want to be a filmmaker. You haven't made those mistakes, and if you make them publicly, you never get a chance to do it again, and it can almost put you off. And I think there's a lot to be said for getting a group of friends and maybe even family members around you, rather than thinking you've got to make Reservoir fiction or you know, trying to copy something that's out there. Most people have a character within their family or characters within their place that's that's you know you know that person there's only one of them people in the world it's like you know like might be your granddad who works at the allotment he might be a real character and you should maybe start off looking much closer to home and making them yourself to try and find the things that are personal to you because that you know we've all seen gangster short film gangster flicks and all these ultra cool people you know and it's all about techniques rather than acting and you know it's all oh, I've got the camera to do I want the camera to do this and that to do that and a spaceship to come for you like it's a short film man you know and your budgets you know it, it People try and bite off more than they can chew, I think, and I think what I did was was just keep making shorts and making mistakes and not worrying about making mistakes, and although some of them were quite bad, because I had that energy and because I believed in them, there was always something in them that people sort of thought they were getting better each time, and I probably made 10 or 15 short films before I made my first feature, and I think that that ensured that I didn't make an enormous mistake when I got there.